Now, if you've been following my work, you know I love pivot tables, but there are times when that rectangular shape is a little bit constraining and I need to pull individual values out of those pivot tables in order to serve up, say, a charting format or a narrative in a report. So in this week's Monkey Shorts, we're going to look at how we can break down the pivot table to extract individual pieces of information via formula. Now, here's the thing. I've got a pivot table over here, and what I want you to notice is this is a power pivot back pivot table, and that's important because when I go to Pivot Table Tools, Analyze here, and I go to OLAP Tools, Convert to Formulas does not show up for standard pivot. It only works on power pivot back pivot tables. So I'm going to convert this to formulas. You'll notice my pivot table field list goes away. And I now have a nice set of formulas here. Now, the thing is, is that I want to be able to extract individual values and control them. So I want burgers and I want specifically sales. And I want to have what my burger sales are equal here so that I can dynamically choose what I'm looking for. Well, we know burger sales is 112,815. If I copy that formula and paste it here, we get a hash NA. Now, the challenge is this is pointing to some weird cells. It's not going to work properly. So, Let's go back to our burgers and break this down. What do we actually see here? Well, it's referring to burgers over here. Okay, so why wouldn't it work somewhere else? Well, the deal is if I look at my burgers, this is actually a cube member formula. Now, the good news is I don't need all this to flatten my formula down. All I need is what's between the quotes here in the most basic form. Okay, so we're going to go Control C and copy that, hit Escape. I'm going to come back over here. And on C9, instead of using that formula reference, I'm going to paste in the quote categories.category and burgers and enter. Notice the formula still works. For sales, it's giving me measure sales. So I'm going to go and grab this, the last piece of this particular formula. Control C, pay, copy of it, there we go. And we're going to go replace D7. Notice we still get the same value. So now if I copy this across, and paste it, this is good, we get the 112,815, but of course this is static. I want it linked to these guys here. So the secret to this is I'm going to come into my burgers text here, quote and burgers and quote, and then for my sales, right between those square braces, we're going to go quote and pick up sales and quote. And now we're going to go and just hit enter. We get the 112, 815, and if we switch this out to beer, we've got 819, which matches over here. If we switch it out to budget, we've got 839, which means I actually no longer need this pivot table at all, and I can now very quickly go and switch between my different categories to see what's there. So for driving an individual narrative or for having individual cells that feed up the specific charting format that we need, this works brilliantly. Thank you for watching this episode of Monkey Shorts. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to click on the Skillwave logo on the bottom left in order to subscribe to our channel. Or if you'd like to see more videos in the series, click on the playlist tile on the right. And if you'd like to get more comprehensive training, you should definitely check out our website at skillwave.training.